This is my video response to a question on the forum about printing a poster using 4x6 sheets. And it's specific to the question on the forum, which I'll link to in the video description. This is a setup with 4x6 sheets on a Pro 100. And I'm starting out in IntelliCenter placement mode. And first, I want to make sure that the driver's properties are OK. So I'm going to click on properties here. We have 4x6 sheet. But the important thing to check under page setup is that you have amount of extension turned off or slid all the way to the left. Otherwise, you're going to have overspray. And if you're printing a poster, you're going to have a portion of the prints missing off the edge of each page where it oversprays. So if you do this, at least you'll have as close as the printer can get to 4 by 6 sheet covering the whole sheet without overspray. Now, I don't normally recommend poster mode for uh, going along with borderless because you don't normally want to use borderless with poster mode because the printer can't load the paper exactly as it should perfectly every time without a little bit of a white sliver on one side and a little overspray on the other side just because the paper loading isn't perfect. So one way to combat that if you're in borderless mode is in this case we don't have a lot of room to work with because we're using four by six sheets and we want five sheets but there's enough room in this example for a half a millimeter border on each edge, which is usually enough to counteract the paper loading issues. And you can do that by going to Edit Preferences, Page Formatting, Page Margins, and you could enter a 0 0.5 millimeters in all four of these additional values here. And that'll give you a half a millimeter border around this print, white border where it's not going to try to print. And then if you have a good uh, rotary paper cutter, you can just cut off those slivers accurately afterward. And that might be better. But that aside, I'm going to stick with the example here and keep going. So I have a 4 by 6 sheet, borderless, expansion turned off. And the way that you know that the expansion is properly turned off is you'll get 600 PPI here instead of 612 or 621 or some odd number. Her strange number. Um, so we've got everything set up now and now we just have to add the poster to the page and to do that I don't have a panorama here I'm just gonna choose a um, test print but it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna turn cropping on so select your print select custom select specific size and then since this is in millimeters uh, and we want a 50 by 15 centimeter print and are 500 millimeters by 150 millimeters and make sure crop is turned on and click OK and it may ask you this prints larger than one page do you want to make it a poster click yes if it asks you that some situations it'll ask you some it won't but here you can see we have a 5 by 1 print now this preview posters do not preview page by page it puts a poster on one page and that's just so it can keep the document uh, sorted properly but what this is telling you is it's going to print five pages across by one page high which is what you want in this case as long as you get a five by one there you should be good um, this is just uh, showing you the orientation that it's going to print this way and it's going to chop five times across the horizontal and by one means it'll fit everything on one page vertically so if you want to see that what I've done is in the driver I turned on the print preview preview before printing and we can actually print this and I'll show you in the print preview what it looks like so the print finishes processing and you can see this is page one you can see that um, it's printed using the whole page except for a little bit on the vertical here because we're not asking it to quite fill out the page vertically um, I think the printable area was like uh, 101.6 or something it was more than we needed so there's a little bit to trim off on the bottom which is to be expected um, we go to the next page and we'll see that it continues to the right here there's page 2 page 3 four and five and again we're not asking it to 
quite fill out the entire width so there's a little bit left over on this last page but that should get you what you want. It gets you a poster that's five pages across using four by six paper. Hope this helps. Thanks.